Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Excel. What I want to show you in this session is how to create a weight loss tracker or weight gain tracker if you're going up in pounds and use conditional formatting to highlight whether it's a gain or a loss. So this is the end product. So I've already created this and this is how it works. So if I type somebody's name there, John, start weighting kilo, kilograms, 80 kilos, this column automatically converts that into pounds. And then this is week one. Let's say that he loses one kilo, which equates to a one kilo loss, a 2.2 pound loss. Now there is protection on this. So if I try to type in any of these columns where the zeros are, it doesn't let me. The only place I can enter data is in these light blue areas. So 45 and then 43. Well, let's do it the other way around 46. So that person put a 2.2 pounds on. So the way I created this is if I just go to a new sheet, start at the top, type in week one. In fact, what I'll do is I'll just copy it across and just do the formulas. I'll copy this top, these top three, four lines, copy. Okay, so that gives me the starting points. Now, the formula I used, basically a kilogram is 2.2 pounds. So if I put one kilo there, I need the formula to put that to pounds. So it's just basically equals that times 2.2046, I think it is. Maybe another digit on there. Have a quick look. So 462, so that is a more accurate calculation. So that converts the kilos. So if I copy that and paste it there, So you can see it started off on one kilo. So let's make this a bit more realistic. So 80 kilos and he ended up putting weight on 82. So this is not looking at the right formula. I need to round this down a bit. So let's look at that. Let's just do two digits, two digits. There we go. So then you've got a difference there in kilos. So you can go equals that minus that. Tick two kilos is put on two kilos. And then that minus that four pound. So if I put that down to 79, He's lost one kilo, he's, he's lost two pounds. So then if I just make this a bit, um, bit bigger, just make this a little gridded area so I can see what I'm doing. Grid that off. So conditional formatting needs to be picking these two up um the difference for each week so if i highlight this area and uh, go to conditional formatting manage rules and say new rule so if it's greater than zero that's bad because i've put weight on okay okay if it's less than zero that's good because they've lost weight. So I'll format green. And I'll, if it's the same, I'll leave it white. So I'll just click OK to that. So if I put that to 80 kilos, I should just stay white. It does. So then I can just put this to 82 again. So they've gone a bit pear shaped there. So if I just highlight that area and double click on the format button, 
and just paste that along to the, the last two columns of each week. So you've got the conditional formatting in there. And then I'll need to knock that off. Zoom this down a little bit so you can see the whole thing. Too much. No, I'll leave that up. Now, so we can pull these formulas down. So I'll pull that one down. Same with that one. I can double click that down. I should better double click these down. And then it's just a case of copying these. I'll just delete these figures here. Not that one. These start figures. Delete that one and then delete this one so I can just copy it across. And then just copy these across. Going into the start pounds column. Start pound column. Start pound column. Start pound column. Start pound column. And then just check it works. Press escape to get rid of that. So we know the first one works. So 56, 55. Wrong place. 56, 55. Lost one kilo. So let's try this one down here. 45, 34, yep, yeah, 46, yeah, so that's going to work, so we're happy with that. Now, we need to protect this, so the only areas I want people to be able to type in is the, the name column and obviously the weight column, so everywhere where there's a formula, I need that to be locked in place so that I don't delete any of the formulas which is usually what does happen and the reason I'm doing this spreadsheet is because a colleague asked me because their one was deleted by somebody well the sheet wasn't deleted but the formulas was deleted and then nobody knew how to do it which is quite often the case so let's fill that one in and then the last one this one so what you need to do now to protect this sheet so these are the areas that I want to type in so I need to go to format and take the lock cell off and then format and protect sheet I'll just leave that for a second because I want to color these in I want to color all of these light blue and then I'm going to protect that sheet Text sheet, I'm not going to do a password, but just leave it like that. Okay. Pull this across. So now you can put people's names in. Steve. Anne. So this is for a six-week gym program. So the start weight was say 67. They hammered themselves in the first week and they went down to 65. So the start weight is 65. And then they went up 66, so they got a bit disheartened. So start weight is 66. And I mean, I could have done a formula there to be honest, where that just links to the, the end weight. But I suppose people would fluctuate a little bit, so it's best to weigh them each time they come in. So then let's say they have a really good week, so they lost three kilos six pounds and so on and so on so over the whole period uh, at the end of this you could have put a total weight loss column uh, but to do that i would have to um, get rid of the password protection and then you're just going to put totals at the end and it's going to add up um, the difference in pounds or kilos total i'm not going to do that but that's basically how you could expand this little spreadsheet but for now that's all it needed to do that's all i was asked to show i hope that's been of use to you and i'll thank you for your time